Hi everyone, myself Rakesh. In this video, I'm, I'm ready to explain the operating systems and few questions asked in operating systems in GATE. So, before solving these two questions, first thing, so what exactly an operating system means? So, nowadays, everyone is using something like a laptop or a mobile or something like a device. So, what exactly an operating system? So, now when you're working on an Android mobile or when you're working on a Windows mobile or when you're working on an iPhone, so it is interacting something like you are using applications over a hardware so now when you are using application whatsapp so the whatsapp is interacting with your kernel device of your mobile so now there is if, if you want to establish a communication between a mobile application to a mobile hardware we are having a mobile operating system that is android now similarly so when you go for a desktop so we are using a laptops or desktop machines so we are using we are installing lot of applications on our operating system so we have been used windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 now and earlier we are using xp whatever so on each and every operating system we are installing our applications so when you take linux or mac also we are using every application on top of operating system so now you can know that what exactly operating system means so it acts like a medium interface between the user myself to the your external hard hardware that is it always acts as a mediator between hardware to the software so the managing process of hardware to the software will be done by using operating system okay so we'll be learning about operating system in our later videos so now here we have few questions which are asked in gate operating system so the first question where does the swap space reside so this question has been asked in gate 2014 computer science and it okay so where does the swap space reside so normally when you take operating system i said the lot of applications installed on top of operating system so when you run any program on top of operating system the process will be generated so the program which is present will not store will not store in memory that is main memory okay so the program will be always stored in temporary memory called disk so the memory will be stored in the program will be stored in days so when the program is necessary or needed the process is needed so the memory the uh, program will be taken from the disk so now the question is where does the swap space reside so swap space is nothing but the memory which is allocated over the disk okay so the memory which is allocated over the disk is called swap space so a simple thing where does the swap space reside so it is ram disk rom non chip cache so as the programs are stored temporarily on a disk and whenever we need it we retrieve back from the disk so swap space is much swapping from main memory to disk so the option is obviously the disk so swap space reside always in disk so next question which of the following scheduling algorithms is non primitive okay so this question has been asked in gate 2015 computer science and it okay so which of the following schedule algorithms non primitive so when you go for non primitive and primitive we have two things one is primitive and non primitive so if we have given priorities for our algorithms or priorities for our pages in our operating system we call it as non primitive if there are no particular priority for our pages or algorithms we call it as primitive now so which of the following scheduling algorithms non primitive the option is round robin first in first out multi level queue scheduling multi level queue scheduling with feedback so when you talk about round robin it is like circular process system so the process will be circular all the time so it is a circular process system so with the cpu time will be always in circular so where the priorities will be not given so it comes under preemptive When you take in first and first out, so first and first out is a stack. 
so whoever comes first will be taken first so uh, taken first normally so here the given we are giving priority that is first comes first serve so those who comes first will be taken first so first serve, first come first serve priority is given so as we are giving a priority this comes under non preemptive and next we have multi level queue scheduling multi level queue scheduling with feedback so multi level queue scheduling and multi level queue scheduling with feedback having multiple queues with random priorities so this comes under preemptive so round robin is a preemptive algorithm first in first out non preemptive multi level queue scheduling as well as multi level queue scheduling with feedback comes under preemptive so what is our question which of the following schedule algorithm is non preemptive so the answer is first in first out as it is comes first come first serve okay so our next question in our operating systems in which of the following page replacement policy ballard is anomaly may occur so this question is asked in gate 2014 computer science right okay so page replacement policy and ballard is anomaly so in which of the algorithms page replacement policy this anomaly occur so we have options first in first out optimal allow you and mru so when you take about page replacement policy so the number of page falls will depend on number of page frames so now we know that so the bellodus anomaly what exactly bellodus anomaly means so as number of page falls increases so the number of page frames may increase in most of the cases so number of as number of page falls increases so number of page frame should increase most of the times so now same thing when you go for first in first out page replacement algorithm so number of falls will be always directly proportional to number of page frames that is number of page falls will increase when number of page frames increases but when you go for optimal number of page falls will not increase and when you go for allow as well as mru number of page falls will not dependent on page frames okay now so as the first in first out uh, in first in first out page replacement algorithm the bellodus anomaly may state that number of page falls will increases as number of page frames increases so in which of the following page replacement policy bellodus anomaly may occur so we know that bellodus anomaly means number of page falls should increase as number of page frames increases so the same will be present in first in first out so now it is absent in optimal as well as allow you as well as mru so the option first in first out will be obvious correct answer for us so simple thing the concept of bellodus anomaly will be interlinked to the options which are present first in first out optimal allow you and mru so that we can get the exact direct proportional of the false to the number of frames